Welcome to Doc Slab Audio on Music Production and Audio Engineering. Welcome to Doc's Lab Audio and our Insights Series. I do believe this is the 28th video in our Insights Series. And in this video, we want to talk about why it's so important to trust your judgment. And this basically is a very simple concept, but it gets really complicated dealing with the industry because of how many opinions there are and how many different types of productions that there are that people are working in, whether they're composing or they're artists or they're engineers, to that things are done properly and well the way they should be done in their niche and also their opinion of how things should be dealt with. It's a huge problem. And why I'm addressing this is because there's so much information on my channel about concepts and ideologies that are possibilities. That doesn't necessarily mean that any one of those things has to be a rule and a law for you, depending on how you see it. But there's something you should consider and think about, like my downloadable notebook that I put on the Abouts tab that has all this stuff in there going through you know recording phase and editing phase and processing phase and mixing phase and mastering phase and all the videos i put on there about working through that stuff that it very much can be dictated by your opinion how you like to do things and how you like things to sound which could be very different from a lot of other individuals that you might even look up to as successful producers, engineers, and artists. But you might not see it that way and want to produce that way. And so even something like in my recording procedure and recording that I put the videos on in going through that in my first master series, you have to really consider as you develop as an engineer, an artist, and a producer, that these are things you really need to think about to work out how you do things and why you know, your judgment is so important and why working through productions and spending time doing it is so important for you to get comfortable with your judgment, your opinion, and how you do things because you will find some of the most successful people eventually found that they got really comfortable with the way they do things. They got a pretty good understanding how things are in reality, dealing with any one of those areas, and then started working out their own workflows, how they like to get things done, how they want things to sound, and got really comfortable doing it and started really honing and perfecting their skills doing it that way. Does that make sense? And that doesn't mean discarding other people's opinions in the way they do things. That's definitely not the case, but you being able to take that with a grain of salt and go, that's nice, Bob does that with his kick drum, or Timmy does that with his snare, or Jimmy does that with his composition, or Tommy does that when he's as an artist and he's performing, or Jimmy does that in his mastering, or da-da-da, on and on and on. That doesn't mean that that's law, because that's an opinion. You need to formulate yourself and good solid opinions and decisions and conclusions about things that are happening 
and be able to hear that it sounds good to you, which is almost impossible to teach. And then you get to that point where you see Bob's a successful composer or a successful artist or a successful performer or a successful engineer that they are a successful producer, that they've honed their skills and it worked. They got it to work for them. So it's you definitely don't want to dis, discard the successful people, but that doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And that doesn't mean that's what the future holds and that's what will be accepted. Innovations are made all the time in music and in engineering and in producing by people trying to do things differently their own way and trying unique different perspectives and ways of going about doing things and final products. So it's a very complicated thing that's very hard to teach. And the biggest thing you need to get in your head is to study hard, research things well, and start producing, start composing, start performing, start producing, start engineering, and really honing your skills and your workflows about how you do things, how things sound good to you, and getting on that path and get doing it because the biggest thing that I've seen is most successful producers, engineers, artists just got doing, just got rolling along. Not all of them become successful and a lot of them get successful in different degrees. And some of them end up just doing it for fun or they can be doing it in all different areas or different levels. And that's as far as they go or they go all the way to the top, bro. But that has to do a lot of times with their creative abilities. That has to do with their the time that they spend honing their skills. That has to do with their opinion and how accepted their opinion is something that sounds good now. You know, what is happening now in pop music or in reggae or in funk or in classical music or whatever. And really getting into that niche and being successful in that area. And sometimes a lot of those people will sacrifice, you know, to succeed, you know, a little bit of their ego and a little bit of their, you know, opinion to get things done the way, you know, things should be done the way things are projected in the industry now in that area to be successful as the industry sees things. And some of them are the exact opposite of that spectrum that they're like, no, bro, I'm doing it my own way. I'm like Frank Sinatra and I'm doing it my own way, bro. And they just hit a button and off they go and they're unstoppable. You know, does that make sense? So there's two sides of the spectrum there also, but most of them get successful by figuring out really getting comfortable with their opinions, how they see to get things done, and really honing their skills there and getting really comfortable with how they do things. And that means practice, 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 practice. Research, 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 research. Experiment, 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 experiment until they get there where they're going to be, which can be at all different levels and sides of the spectrum, have no doubt about it. So it's just a matter of really considering that and getting going there because I've found that some of the most successful people I've seen in all their those areas took a couple different paths that we've just talked about and really just started honing their skills decided that they were more of an artist or they were more of a money person or they were, you know, or they were trying to combine the both of them and trying to make it work, but really made a solid decision on which way they were going and really started focusing there on where their niche was, what area they're working in, and really just started grinding, bro. Grind, 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 grind. You know, and all those areas honing and perfecting themselves, which no matter which way you go, that it's a lot of work and you got to get ready for that and you really got to know 
how hard do you really want to work? You just want to have fun. You want, you're somewhere in the middle. You want to be top notch in one, any of those areas and really be, have that defined in your mind where you're going in any one of those areas before you ever take off. And as you take off, keep that objective in mind so that you're really working towards that objective and not frustrating yourself and, and not getting where you really want to be doing what you want to do with all this stuff because you're not really going where you want to be to begin with and you're never going to get there trying to be something you don't want to be and doing a bunch of stuff that's unneeded for what you want to do. It's like sometimes like, you know, composers, I saw somebody will come up to me and teach them music. They want to be a classical concert pianist. I'm going to teach them much differently than I get somebody comes up and they show up with a guitar and say, no, I want to be like Stevie Ray Vaughan or Eddie, Jimi Hendrix. And I just want to go with my feelings and just roll. I'm going to teach those people way differently or if I get a pop producer I want to be like Beyonce and I want to really hit the pop charts and I just want to go in that direction what do I got to do bro I'm gonna teach those people totally differently you can be guaranteed as a producer and as a teacher I'm gonna approach them totally differently with a totally different mindset to get them where they want to be so they're focused in the correct areas areas to get done what they want to do to be successful you know what does success mean to them before they ever start so they can be successful the way they see things does that make sense and you really need to take that into consideration as you're going through becoming an artist a producer an engineer or a performer in any one of those areas and really work it out and do some research and think about it plan ahead and what success actually means to you and take all these things into consideration so peace of love i certainly hope you enjoy this next video in our inside series and i will see you in the next video